Hallelujah. We honor the Lord this morning. We glorify him. We magnify him. And we thank you for allowing us to arise in our right minds on this morning. With the activity of every limb that he has given unto us. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we welcome you into our hearts and our minds on this morning. And we humble ourselves in your presence. And we ask you, O oh God, of your forgiveness, Father. That you forgive us of all of our sins that we've committed against your will. In word, deed, or thoughts, Father, we ask for your forgiveness, Father. We ask that you would cleanse us as we enter into your presence. For we desire that your presence would reign among us, O oh God, that it would move in the atmosphere on today, that you would be here with us, Father. For, Father God, we present our bodies unto you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service unto you, Lord. So we ask, O oh God, that you take these lips of clay, O oh God, and you speak through them on today, Father. Use our mouths to give you glory, honor, and praise, God. Use our lips, O oh God, to speak of your goodness and the kind things that you have done for us, Father. Use our mouths, O oh God, to glorify you, O oh God, to receive praise and honor, Father. In the name of Jesus, you word our thoughts, word our conversations, God. In the name of Jesus. And we ask, God, that you would allow, Father God, our hearts to line up with everything we say and do, Father. In the name of Jesus, that your spirit be strong and mighty in our lives on this morning. For our hearts desires that you get the glory, you get the honor, and you get the praise, God. For no one is worthy but you, Father. Hallelujah. So, Father, we lift you up in the atmosphere today. That would mean it was drawn by your spirit, God. That many would see you and not us, Father. In the name of Jesus, we desire more of you in our inward parts, God. In our thoughts, oh God, in our movements, God, in what we say, how we say it. God, you be present, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask, oh God, that you will use our feet to go where you will have us to go. Use our hands to uplift your name, oh God, to sing praises and clap our hands unto one of the wonderful things you've done for us, God. We ask, oh God, that you will just use us in this hour, in these last and even days. Use us, oh God, to be your mouthpiece in the earth, God. In the name of Jesus, that men will be drawn by the words that we speak, by the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we live. They will see you in all that we do and say, God. For it's all about you, oh God. It's all about your name being great. It's about all men being drawn to you, oh God, and what you have in store for them, Father. So we lift up your name in the house today. We glorify your name in the house today. We honor your great name in the house today. Because if it had not been for you, we wouldn't be here today. So Lord, we say thank you for being mindful of us, Lord. Thank you for raising us up, oh God, to be who you called us to be. God, we say thank you that your hand is strong and mighty on our lives, God. Leading us, guiding us, directing us. God, we say thank you that our faith is not failing, God, but it is increasing day by day, God. I would trust this yet in you, Father, and we're going to continue to hold to your unchanging hand, God. We thank you for being our Father. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for being the lifter up of our heads. We thank you for being the encourager of our hearts. We thank you for being the one who bestows peace upon us. We thank you for being all things unto us, Lord. You are great and you're greatly to be praised, God. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same sun, your name is great and greatly to be praised. So we open our mouths and we glorify you, Lord, from our hearts this morning. Our hearts adore you. Our souls adore you. Our minds adore you. Our lips love to call your name. God, we bless you today. We need you, the Lord, the earth, oh God. We need you in our homes, Lord. We need you in our ministries, God. We need you in our marriages, Lord. We need you in the single lives, Lord. You be God. You be God. And do only what you can do. And that is save and deliver. Save and deliver. Those of us who are saved, save us the more. Those that need to be saved, save and deliver the more, God. In the name of Jesus, draw us by your spirit. Draw us by your sweet spirit. Draw us by your love and kindness, 
morning. Your grace and mercy we adore, God. We say thank you for hearing our every cry. We thank you for being our secret place. We thank you. We thank you for being all things unto us. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your favor. Hallelujah. We thank you for your favor. We may not see favor right now, but we thank you in advance. And by faith for your favor being poured out upon your people, Lord. Whatever the needs are, meet the needs. Whatever the desires are, meet the desires. Whatever the hunger is, fulfill the hunger, God. For we desire more of you and your ways. We desire to always be in your presence, God. And we're grateful that you left your word to remind us and to encourage us that you will never leave us. Doesn't matter where we are, where we've been, you will never leave us. Doesn't matter what state we're in, you'll never leave us. And you'll never forsaken us. Thank you for being mindful of us. We glorify you. We have expectations of your presence to dwell with us always. Even now in this atmosphere, let your presence be known, God. Let someone feel your presence in their hearts even now. Let strength come in the house today. Let joy meet us here today. Let peace flow like a river in the house today. In the name of Jesus. And we'll forever glorify you and give you praise. Come on, right where you are, can you magnify him? Come on, can you make his name great? Come on, can we honor him with the fruit of our lips this morning? Come on, say something kind to him. Say something kind to him. Hallelujah. God, you're worthy to be praised in the household today. You are welcome here. Your spirit is welcome here. Your power is welcome here. The anointing that destroys every yoke in our lives is welcome here. In the name of Jesus, you be God in the house today. You be God in the house today. In the name of Jesus. Come on, make his name great one more time. We serve an awesome God. We serve a magnificent Savior who is worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all of the honor. Amen. At this time, we're just going to move forward into worship. And we're going to allow God to be God in the house on today. Amen. 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 We ask that you would join in with us as we glorify the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah.
goodness and mercy. Yes. yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our scripture reading this morning comes from Romans, the eighth chapter, verses 35 through 39. Yes. And the word of the Lord reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Yes. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl Jesus. or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Yes. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Nay, which means no. In all things, we are more yes. than conquerors yes. Oh, yes, through yes, him yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. that loved us. Thank you, Lord. For I am persuaded yes, that neither death, yes. nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, Jesus. nor powers, nor things present, mm -hmm. nor things to come, nor height, mm -hmm. nor death, nor any other creature yes. shall be able to separate yes. us yes. from the love of God, yes. which is in Christ Jesus, yes. our Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank Dear you. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come into your presence on this morning, yes, Father, we come into your presence asking you to forgive us of our sins, God. Yes, God. And not God. just for our sins, but Lord, to continue to cleanse us from all of unrighteousness. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for what has already transpired in your thank house you, on this morning. Thank you, and we thank you for what you will continue to do yes, in your house. Your house God. Lord, we thank you, God, that you are our refuge. Yes, we are. thank you that you are our strength. Mm. Yes, you thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you, God, thank for you, your Lord. grace you. that is sufficient for us. Yes. means that it is more than enough. Yes. We thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Yes. Lord, we even thank you, God, that you have allowed us to wake up on this morning, God, yes. and arrive to your house collectively and safe, God, yes. that we can all come together, God, to magnify your holy name. Father, we ask you to continue to have your way on this morning. For Lord, you see the needs of your people, God. Even those that's watching, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to supply every need. And Lord, we ask you for those situations in our life that we have one before you that's too hard for us. For Lord, we lay them at your feet. We lay them at the altar, God. For your word declares, God, and we can cast all of our cares, not some, but all of our cares, on you because you care for us. Now, Lord, we ask you to shift what needs to be shifted in our life. We ask you, Lord God, to close doors that need to be closed and open doors that need to be opened. For, Lord, we just thank you for what you are doing, even the things that we don't understand, God. That because we trust and believe in you, God, we know that they are working together for our good, God. Because we have been called according to your purpose, God. Lord, we ask you to touch family members in this house on today, God. Those family members that we have up before you, God, that's not saved. Lord, we ask you to save them. Prick their hearts and disturb their spirits, God. But you told us in your word that you are not willing that any shall perish, but that all shall come to repentance, God. Lord, wake them up on this morning, God. Touch their hearts, God. Disturb their spirits as they lay in the bed, God. Just going day by day. Because the next minute is not promised to us, God. But Lord, we thank you for your grace that we are here today, which means that you are not done with us in the earth, God. So Lord, we pray that your will will continue to be done in our lives, God, and it will glorify you in heaven. Lord, we pray that you will continue, Lord God, to touch our praise team, God, that they will continue to play skillfully, God, to enhance our worship service. Lord, we pray that you will touch our pastors, yes, uh, Bishop and Lady Bailey, God. Yes, we plead the blood of Jesus over yes, their lives, Lord. God. We yes, pray and ask you to continue to keep them. Yes, we ask you to continue to hide them behind the cross. Yes, we ask you to continue yes, to yes, supply God. every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes, and God, be their strength in time of weakness. Lord, we ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to touch each and every individual in this place. We even ask you to touch those that's watching by airways. Yes. Lord, we ask you to continue to touch and keep our children, God. 
We plead the blood of Jesus over their lives, God. We pray that you will continue, God, to bless them with the knowledge and understanding in all of their literature and their learning, God. And Lord, we pray that you will surround them, Lord, around other children, God, that represent you. And for those that don't know you, God, use them and they will tell them about you, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to continue to have your way on this morning, God. We lose your anointed to destroy every yoke, God. We pull down every stronghold, God, that's hindering us from going higher in you, Father. In the name of Jesus. And as you use, God, the under shepherd of this house on this morning, speak a relevant word through him, God, that will bring about clarity, God. Healing God, hope God, and also to correction. Now, Lord, we will forever and continue to give your holy name all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We honor the Lord this morning. We thank you for being faithful unto us on today. Amen. Anybody just grateful to be alive? Anybody know you're blessed? You're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. We ask that you would just join in with us on this morning. Amen. As we glorify the Lord through some ministry. Amen. Amen. Come on, I love the room. We'll put your hands together. Come on, I love
Where are the miracle signs and wonders that's supposed to happen in this house? We become too common with God to the point we don't even know how to rejoice when somebody gives a testimony anymore. We're too common. God is not our equal. He is our Father. And we should honor Him as our Father. And say, Lord, thank you for allowing us to be blessed to see another. Can you just surrender all right now and say, Lord, thank you. All that I have, I give it back to you. So you can blast it. So you can increase it. So you can be pleased. I'm just here to remind us of how good of a father we have. just the building but this temple let him take a residence within you let him live in you he don't care about what you've done where you've been all he sees is a soul that needs him God we honor you this morning and we say have your way the more live in us the more because we desire more of you and less of ourselves. Kill this flesh. Kill this flesh. That you may take up residence in us. In your great name. We pray on this morning. Come on, love on him like you really love him. Come on, give him something he can feel this morning. What a mighty God we serve. The song says, angels do what bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. With your hands lifted and your eyes closed. Father, we ask that you would linger here. Your spirit. Allow us to experience more of you. Until we have encountered the fullness of who you are. Let us have the experience of the woman at the well. Some of us need to go down from this place and tell people about how amazing you are. That you can tell us all about ourselves. And if they come, you have a word for them. Help us in this hour, God, to keep the grounds of our hearts open. For the word to fall like seed from a farmer's hand. Watered with your spirit. Cultivated. Allow this word to bud, to blossom, and to bring forth fruit in our lives. In this church, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. that our fruit may remain. Yes, yes. You told us to have no fellowship with the workers, unfruitful work of darkness, oh God, but whether we rather we reprove them, yes. teach us to continue to trust in your word. We tell you that we love you and we bless you and we honor you. And we have me as I teach this word. I bow myself to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise.
started the series. And I wasn't necessarily looking forward to start as a series. It's more so trying to speak to the issues of our society and our culture. But it's been weighing on me to stay there and to linger there so we'd understand the importance of rearing up godly children. Mm -hmm. We as parents know that had it not been for parents who were God-fearing, yeah. grandparents that were God-fearing, we would literally be terrorists. I thank God that thank you, Jesus. the word was instilled yes. in me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Even though there was no physical example as it pertains to a male role model in my life, mm -hmm. there were yet godly examples in my life. Yes, yes. From the rising of the sun to the setting of that same sun, Thank you, Jesus. I will walk back into the house of a praying grandmother, Thank you, Jesus. of a praying mother that 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 didn't just send us to church, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. but told us to wake up, get dressed. This is the Lord's day. Yes. yes Lord. And we're going to the Lord's house. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. And so I wanted to get back to that place I was thank you, Jesus. reading a post. And sometimes I don't have to read the whole thing. I can get the gist of what's going on when they give me a title or they start talking about certain things in the body mm -hmm. of that message. They talked about by 2070. They're saying that Christianity and the earth will be no more. No more. A religion that will be prominent and growing and forthcoming. It's amazing that the culture can gauge how long God's church will last. Right. If, 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 if I remember well, Jesus says, I'm the door. Mm -hmm. And if I open that door, no man can shut that That's door. Right. But we're in a place in this particular time where we're listening to the culture and we're listening to people who are not godly. Yeah. Because people live for sensationalism. Yeah. Tell the truth, sir. They live for it. They yeah. thrive. And we know that people are always looking for something new. Mm. But again, if I'm in the Bible, there is nothing, nothing. new. That's right. That's the word. Under the sun. Right. And the thing is, Thank you, Jesus. we've got to be knowledgeable enough to defend and refute narratives and things that are being talked about in the culture because our children are there. And though we may be strong enough in our faith, they may be overwhelmed. But we got to teach them yes. the ways of the Lord. Yes. 
And so today I'm going to continue in that vein as we talk uh, to our children, talk about our children. Because I think it's high time for us to get our children back. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I think it's high yes, time. Lord. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. And if we don't do it quickly, we're going to lose so many more. Yes. The harsh reality is we are going to lose some children. Yeah. We're going to. You can't get around it. But the truth of the matter is wherever there is an invitation extended, some will receive it. Yeah. The word says whosoever will let them come. So that means anybody. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care how long you've been drugging. Mm -hmm. I don't care how long you've been stripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care how long you've been drinking. Right, right. Robbing. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. If in the day you hear my voice and you harden not your heart, Grace is available. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I want you to. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> excuse me. I want you to turn with me to Proverbs 22. Very familiar. Yeah. I don't want y'all to think I'm sick little or not. <laughs> I this bad coughing. I want to say thank you to my wife publicly. I don't know what I'd do without this short woman. <laughs> um, had food poisoning this week and became extremely dehydrated. And um, ran a tilt of 102. And sweated on and off and didn't think that I'd be able to get here today. Um, but things begin to subside for me on Thursday. To go on Friday off to rest my body, recoup and recover. And then like it tried to jump back on me again. Got out and did a little work yesterday and seemed like it tried to get on me again. And I had another preacher lined up to preach the word for eventually I couldn't get here. And Nurse Joyce <laughs> came to my rescue again. <laughs> and uh, she gave me some stuff and, 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 and put me down. And, and I just want to share this, and, and I'm moving. Please. But when I come home, she had been battling with sickness and, and, and stuff and, and, and yet had to fool around with me. And all that night, she couldn't sleep. I just felt somebody putting their hand on her. Okay. <laughs> How you feeling? And uh, she, she woke me up at one o'clock well, I woke up at one o'clock Friday morning, mm. and she kept me up, uh, cleaned up to about four o'clock. I can't go sleep, baby. Cut the TV on, <laughs> cut the light off. God, I can't sleep. But I thank God for a wife who honors her vows in sickness and in health. For richer or for poor better or for worse. Man, we've experienced it all. Yes, Lord. But God is faithful. Yeah, so yes, thank you. So thank you, baby. I love you. Proverbs 22 and 6. <laughs> we know this. Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is older, he will not depart. You may take your seats with a shout. Hallelujah. I'm 
thrilled to see these young people at church yeah. this morning. Yeah. 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 I'm thrilled to see these young people at church this morning. Because it speaks to the fact that there are parents who understand the necessity of having your children covered. Yeah. <laughs> speaks to the fact that God <laughs> has given us the understanding of just how important our stewardship is in the lives of our children. Yes. Yeah. Our children have souls, mm -hmm. just as we have souls, mm -hmm. which means that God has made us a steward over the souls. Yeah. And we are watchmen over the souls of our own children. Yes. The hardest thing is to preach the gospel, teach the gospel, share the word with other children. And your children are not in the will of God. Yes. That would be the hardest thing. Yes. And it's always happening where you see preachers and people who are astute individuals in the Word of God. They know the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But yet we battle and we wrestle with keeping our own children stable. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. And other children can hear us or other people can hear us. And the truth is, especially those of us who are preachers or those of us who are in the church, in the church. Okay. When we've protected our children from the outside world, when they turn 18 or older, there is this desire to get out and experience what you've kept them from. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> to make whatever decision and choice in which they deem will be best for them. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. Whether you are a rough disciplinarian or a nurturer, or whether you were one that just, you know, held your kids, walked with them, it doesn't matter. They have desire. They're inquisitive. Yes. Inquiring minds want to know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they can know that the stove is hot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and so it's important for us to understand that even though we do all we can to raise our children, it doesn't mean, I apologize, it doesn't mean that our children will not run the risk of going out and doing things totally against what we've taught them. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So the Bible says, <clears throat> train up, mm -hmm. train up. A child in the way in which they should go and the older they won't depart. Yeah. Now the first thing we gotta understand is, and, and I didn't even give y'all the title of my message, amen. We're, we're still in the series, not on my watch, but we're talking about we're called to disciple our children. All right. Okay? Yeah. <clears throat> we're called to disciple our children. <laughs> the problem with so many parents is that we become overwhelmed with trying to provide that we miss building our children. Now, when we talk about training up a child in the way that they should go, that means now you've got to be deliberate. Yeah. Yeah. It means you've got to be intentional yeah. Yeah. 
about sitting down with your children and teaching them the word. Yes. Now, in the beginning, I can tell you right now, they're not going to be interested. All right? right, right. So, somebody shall pee. 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 All right. You should be the first set of peas in your children's life. Okay. You should be the first police they meet. That when they're not doing what it is that you call them to do, you should lock them up. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Lord. <laughs> and it's called punishment. Yeah, yeah. Every person that is incarcerated, they have been punished for their crime. You should be the first principal right. as the administrator of their education be sure that they're doing all that they've been called to do. You should be the first politician in their life to teach them how to vote, what to vote for, yes. and what to stay away from. All right. You should be the first preacher in their life. Yes. You should be able to get in their Bible and teach what you know if you don't know the whole book. We are ever learning, but we're not those who are never coming into the knowledge of the truth. And no matter how much you know, how much you know, you don't know enough. I would never stand and say, I have all the answers. I know the whole book. I would never stand and say that. Because God can give you revelation on one thing today, and next year he'll open your eyes to a whole new revelation of that same scripture. Because the expansion of knowledge and revelation, once God gives you illumination of scripture, you see things for where you are. And when you start growing, you're going from faith to faith. When you start growing, it means that God allows you to see things through a different lens. That's why it's hard for people to receive truth sometimes. And that is because their indictments are tied to their truth. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't believe that, do you? Mm -hmm. At the day of Pentecost, Peter said, you have killed the prince of the world. Mm -hmm. You have killed the son of God. They said, we ain't killed nobody. No, no, you killed him. You released him to the Romans for Barabbas. Hmm. His blood is on your hand. Mm -hmm. Pilate says, look, I don't find no fault in this man. Let me wash my hands. Yet Pilate is guilty because he saw no fault in him and his wife came to him and says, I had a dream about this man, do not touch him. But because Pilate understood the fact that the Jews were governed by Rome, they put him in the catch and says, if you don't do it, we're gonna go, we're gonna go tell Harold. He would have lost his governor post. Hmm. So what did he do? He gave him over. Mm -hmm. That indictment made the Jews realize that Jesus was truly who he was. Mm -hmm. After Peter's sermon, they asked a critical question. What must we do to be saved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said, be baptized in Jesus' name. Now I want you to understand this. They gave Jesus over to be killed. Mm -hmm. Jesus sustained the breath of every person who nailed, nailed him to the cross. He sustained the breath of the very Roman soldier 
who pierced him in the side. What did I just say? Jesus allowed them to live to kill him. Wow. Hmm. He sustained them. The songwriter says he would not come down from the cross. He decided to die. My Lord. How does that play out in today's culture? As it pertains to our households and our children. We're the only religion, and I know people hate to talk about the word religion, but it's a religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're the only religion in the world where our God died for him. And we don't have to sacrifice ourselves for our religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our God came and died on the cross for us. Yes. We don't have to get into a jet and fly into a building. Right. Thank you, Lord. And do it in the name of our God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't have to strap bombs to our women because, you know, they're insignificant in our culture anyway. Mm -hmm. We don't have to send our women and our children as unibombers. Right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And we don't have to fly uh, into buildings again or, or go uh, 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 and kill people uh, for the sake of having us 12 virgin women when we get to heaven. Meaning, right, right, right. The Bible says there will be no marriage mm -hmm. in heaven. We will be like the angels. Yes. Yes. And Joe's going to be my sister in heaven. Gonna be the funnest thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? So the thing is, teaching our children the word of God so that in return they can teach others. Yeah. Second yeah. Timothy 2 and 2. Yeah. One of my favorite scriptures. I want y'all to read it. Somebody read that for me. <coughs> Second Timothy 2 and 2. When you get it, if you can read, just read out loud. Second Timothy 2 and 2. Mm -hmm. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses. Uh -huh. Entrust to reliable people. Now stop. Paul says, the thing that you've heard me say in the midst of many people. Mm -hmm. Committed to reliable people. Mm -hmm. Competent people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Who will also be qualified to teach others. So what Paul just says, if I've taught you this mm -hmm. in public, you go and teach somebody else yeah. committed to them yeah. so that they can go and commit it to somebody else. Yes, yes, yes. The problem is, watch this, we're not committing anything anymore. Church is just now about coming and receiving. My Lord. Nothing that we receive is being dispersed. Right. Right. Train up a child mm -hmm. in the way that he should go. Mm -hmm. And when he's older, he will not depart. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that he wouldn't Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. But it said that he wouldn't depart. Mm -hmm. Luke talks about a prodigal son. Yes. Who the younger son who did not deserve anything right then and there. But he came to his dad and says, Give me what falls to me. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he went out. And he spent it with riotous living. So he lived it up. Mm -hmm. Young people, let me tell y'all something. As long as you got money, as long as you got fresh gear, mm -hmm. as long as you ride right, you got friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
Yes, sir. You got plenty of friends. Whatever clique you want to run with. Right. <laughs> and if you the freshest in the clique, yeah. and you got more money and your whip look good and don't have your own path. Right. You the leader hero. Right. <laughs> but the moment you start losing everything that you have, you also lose everyone who's with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Because just because they're with you don't mean that they're for you. Absolutely, say it, help, help. The prodigal son went out, watch this, and he wasted, this is a beautiful sight of parody. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He wasted everything that he had. And the Bible said he looked at what the hogs were eating. And wanted to feast on what the hogs were my God, eating. My God. But thank God the Bible said he came to himself. Yeah. Thank you. The Bible says he sold himself into bondage. Yeah. <laughs> but he came to himself, and the Bible says, How many of my father's hired servants have food and enough to eat? Watch what he says. Watch what he says. Because I love, I love, y'all come on, say here we go. I, I love his thought process. Mm -hmm. Because I've rebelled and sinned as a son. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking my father to let me come home as a son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going back home as a servant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me help us. Until we teach our children how to serve, yeah. they will never know how to be sons and daughters. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Sons and daughters serve. Yeah. Yes. But the fact that his daddy had it all, he didn't have to serve. The son at home, watch this who when he saw his brother come back, the eldest son, which should have gotten the inheritance, kept working. And when he seen his brother come home, he went to his dad and said, hey, I'm trying to understand why you done killed the fatty calf. Why you having this party? You done put a ring on his finger. You know, you got the robe, you know, the chain. Like, what, what? I've never rebelled against you. I've been here the whole time working. Dad, I tell him, look, son, as long as it's mine, it's yours. He said, son, I think you're missing the bigger picture. My son who was lost, he now found. I'm not rejoicing that he went out and swindled off everything that I got. He gave him. I don't, I don't care about that. That's coming back. That, 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 I, in fact, the, what I gave him, I got back the same day. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. He says, I'm rejoicing because he was lost. Yeah. yeah. But now he found. Thank you, Lord. And he's back in the sheep gate. Yeah. So when we train our children, we need to train them, watch this, to the degree of understanding we are in this world. But we are not of this world. We need to teach our children how it is that they need to be able to go to the word when they are being tempted and find that the Lord will not allow you to be tempted above that in which you are able to take. Yes, 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 yes. We need to teach them that even with the temptation, God will make a way of escape. Yes, Which means <laughs> God not going to take the temptation. He going to take you. Come on, come on. If, if Jesus came straight out of the wilderness to be tempted, I'm just trying to understand how, how we gonna miss it. Yeah. Mm. 
Now the Bible does tell us, let no man say when he is tempted, he is tempted of God. Uh -huh. For God cannot be tempted, neither will he tempt man. Uh -huh. But when we are tempted, we are led away by the lust of our own flesh. What? So when I'm tempted by something, there's something in me yeah. mm -hmm. desiring what I'm going after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got to teach our children, watch this, number one, how to control your emotions. Yes, 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 yes. We are sensual beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We emote. Yes. We feel mm -hmm. things emanate from us. That's why the Bible says we need what we call self-control, temperance. Yes, Lord. Not only do we need temperance, we need somebody who can temper us. Yeah, yeah God. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go there, you need somebody who can talk you all the way down. Yes, 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 that's right. Right. Anger is an emotion yep. that God gave us. God gave us anger. Yes. So, children, when your mom and dad make you mad and you get angry, that's cool. You can get angry with them. But the Bible says, don't let the sun go down yes. on your wrath. You, you know how many times I got mad at Barbara? <laughs> Y'all ain't talking about nothing. You know how many times I got mad at that woman, angry with that woman? And I just always tell her, I said, you can't love me the way you beat me. She said, yes, I do. I said, it's impossible, mama. Because you don't whip none of the children like you whip me. But look where I'm standing today. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm standing here today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's above Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm standing here. Watch this. Because the scripture yielded true in my life. Okay. No chastening. Seems to be pleasant for the moment. Yes. But afterwards, it yields to us the peaceable fruits of life. Yes. Now, the book of Hebrews says, watch this, if we do not endure the chastening of the Lord, we are bastards. Mm -hmm. What is a bastard? It's an illegitimate child. So God will chasten those in whom he loves. Yes. If every time you look around, you feel like you're getting whipped, you got to go back in retrospect and say, Lord, what did I go wrong? Hmm. Unconfessed sins will keep the whipping coming. Yes. <laughs> we got sins of commission and omission. There are some things that we don't even know we've done. That's why when I pray, Lord, forgive me of sins in which I committed knowingly and unknowingly. Yes, we think sin. We look at sin. Yes, yes, yes. We commit sin. We even endorse it. It's in the Bible. Those who know it and endorse this thing, knowing the wrath of God. They're just as guilty. Mm -hmm. So we gotta teach our children. In the Old Testament, I'll teach y'all there, I'm not straight. Um, and in the Old Testament, thank God, somebody shout, thank God for grace. Thank, thank God, God for grace. Yes, Lord. Just say it one more time. Thank God for grace. Thank you, Father. Paul says, I will not frustrate the grace of God on my life. Why would I frustrate something that I don't even deserve? 
Now, now we were some bad kids in our day. We can't forget it. And our children, you know, sometimes they look at us and like, you acting like you're perfect. No, I'm not acting like I'm perfect. But, but here is the thing. The generations have changed. Listen. See, in our day, we can throw hands. Give doubt. Who oh, you said, boy, I should have stumped your head when you was on the ground, boy. Well, I could have had you when I had you locked up in a corner, boy. You better be lucky, big bro. Got me, got me up off of you. Today, if you put your hands on somebody, shot, a bullet coming. And guess what? You, you can be bigger, bigger than them. If, 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 if you hit them, you can knock them off. But you know what they feel like today? Listen, I'm not going to ever allow you to come back and ever put your hands on right, me again. Right, right, right. It's a difference. It's a difference. And so what we try to teach our children is that things have advanced right. beyond how it was in our day and time. That's right. That's right. Children, we're trying to get y'all to understand that we don't want to be the ones who say, I told you. <laughs> yeah. Because, watch this. When your sins find you out, My Lord. there will be a price to pay. Yeah. Absolutely, sir. Yeah. I'm going somewhere. But the Bible says in the Old Testament, a rebellious child, the parents would take to the elders of the city. Somebody should thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. A rebellious and disobedient child, the parents, excuse me, would take to the elders of the church, elders of the city. And they would tell the elders of the city, I've tried to correct my son. I've tried to correct my daughter, but they will not listen. And so the elders of the city would take stones mm -hmm. and stone the children to death. And the parents would have to walk away without children. I want you to write to see this, this particular scripture in your margin. Psalms 127 and 3. Now think about what I just said. Your, your, your child has been stoned to death and you walked away. But watch this, Psalms 127 and 3 says, children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. Let me say this to y'all. If you get it fast, you're going to lose it fast. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. If you work for it, you'll appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Let everybody else get on out before you and let them do whatever it is that they're trying to do. But you have to establish a foundation in yes. your life. Yes. That's different from every other foundation that you see. Train up a child in the way that he should go on when he's older, you will not depart. depart. How many of y'all learned that as parents, as children when you were coming up in you? Amen. All right. Amen. Now, 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 now watch this. My mama, Lord Jesus. <laughs> My mama used to say stuff like this. Uh, <clears throat> I bought you in this world. Lord, have <laughs> my mama with me so bad one day. I told my mama, call now, one one. She said, here. Right. She gave me a telephone. Dared me to reach for it. Mm -hmm. Today, <laughs> if your kids call now, one one, you you going to jail. <laughs> Amen. But the Bible says, 
if you spell the rod. The Bible also says, watch this, beat your child and you deliver his soul from hell. Amen. Here's the thing that our kids don't understand. One day they're going to grow up, they're going to emerge, and they're going to become grown-ups, and they're going to become parents. And whether or not they agree with their parents parenting now, there are aspects of their parents' parenting that they're going to take and utilize for their own children. Yeah. May not be something that they stick with forever. Mm -hmm. But that's the first line of parenting that they learn. Yeah. When you look at my wife and I, my wife is a nurturer. Mm -hmm. I'm a strict discipline. None of my children call me. No. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Saul Wright said, if you got a problem in your life, take it to Jesus. Got her off. <laughs> if my children got a problem or they going through something, I got some, they ain't talking to me about nothing. <laughs> Even if they got a bar of money, I'm going to find out. Because yeah. Yeah. I'm always checking the bank account. <laughs> Oh, so you don't cash out this person. Uh, t talk to me. God, tell me what's up now. We ain't just getting out free money. We ain't just passing nothing out to you. Well, Gerald, you know, well, Gerald, listen. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Now watch this. But when they get in that place of heaviness and they know they need more than mama, he didn't come talking to me. I'd just be sitting there like this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got you, yeah. I'm praying for you. Dad told you all that. Listen. The way a man and a woman comes together and the foundation and structuring of parenting has everything to do with how they were parented. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. yeah. That's right. Secondly, it has everything to do with how they look at others who are parenting. Yeah. Yeah. And wanting to grab from that yeah. what they feel would be good for them to bring into their house. Right. 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 And the truth is, if if you were if you are were a parent who came up in a single parent home, mm. you made a whole lot of mistakes mm. in parenting mm. because everything was trial and yeah. error. Mm. I always say, where well, there is human effort, there is yeah. human error. Yeah. But even those who came up in two parent homes, mm -hmm. you're gonna mess up along the way too. But teaching our children, I want you to write this down. Teaching our children that God is not looking for perfection. He's looking for determination. Yes. Yes. God's not looking for perfection. Even in Christianity, he's not looking for perfection. He's looking for determination. The problem is we're too busy trying to be perfect, but we ain't determined to live what we're trying to be. My, my. Once you get to the place where you determine that you're not going back across that threshold, you're not going back into the world, that you're not going back to doing the things that you used to do, once you are determined, yes. nothing can move you. Yes, yes. You may take some blows, you may get hit here and there, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, nothing can move you. I was determined to disciple my children, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which means at an early age, we 
we had Bible study consistently. Yeah. I went and bought them children Bibles. What they can learn. Mm -hmm. Club. Mm -hmm. You grown folks mm -hmm. who don't know the Bible, go get you a children Bible. Yes. Now stop trying to be so uppity and, you know, so, so wise. Listen. You need a child's Bible because a child's Bible break it all the way all down. Way down. That's right. Nice. We gotta learn how to learn on the level where we are. The Bible says those who are feeble among you bestow more honor on them. Yes. Yes. So I got my children children's Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even though I read it from my Bible, it read almost the same in that Bible, but it broke it all the way down. Right. So to the degree while they were reading, they were getting an understanding from a child's perspective, and then I could give them an understanding from an adult and a parent's perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hardest thing for Gerald Bailey was to sit and teach his wife and his children the Bible not just as a father, but as a pastor. Mm -hmm. It was the hardest thing in the world because I didn't have a point of reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to literally lean on God yes. Yes. and get directions on how to teach. Sometimes, see, the problem with with, with so many of us is that we're teaching the word and, and, and you're not teaching it with grace. Yeah. You, you got to teach the word with grace so that people can understand. And, and even if you don't, if, if there's a scripture, you know, I, I could say this, I got, how many of my children today? Three. Okay, I'm going to let y'all do this scripture for everybody. Y'all going to do it too. Y'all ready? <laughs> We're going to do our wisdom. Now, now when my children felt sluggish, because as soon as they got up every morning for school, we had prayer, and we had a scripture that we had to meditate on every single day. So we would meditate on the scripture, and we pray, but, but they'd be up like this. <laughs> yeah, I, wake up! <laughs> so God gave me a way to teach my children scripture. We put it in music form. This is one of our favorite scriptures, like, man, and, 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 and this is the one that, you know, they, they never forgot. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I want you to say it in our class. I'm gonna sing it with you. Y'all ready? I'm gonna sing the Bible. One, two, ready, and wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom and all that I get. Get and understand. There was just wisdom is the principal thing. <laughs> we just kept on. So, so listen, it's a way yes. to instill right. yeah. scripture in That's your right. children right. that will make it fun mm -hmm. and they will never forget it. Right. Just because we learned it a certain way, don't mean they're going to learn it. A certain way. My mama used to always say, I hope I get this right. What's good for the gather is good for the goose, goose. What what was that? Whatever's good for the goose is good for the gather. I told my mama, I said, Mama, stop that. <laughs> Cause this gather ain't on that goose stuff, Dad. <laughs> I said, Mama. <laughs> A whole, new, a whole new time and era. I say, it's not like that. Oh, Jesus, we already out of time. But, but, but I'm trying to get y'all to understand this. Listen. In today's society, I, I hate to say this, but I, I've got to say it. And, and those of you that are in here, I need you to understand this. When your parents are strict sometimes, don't think that they're mean. This society wants to soften you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This society doesn't want you to accept discipline. Right? Well, one day you're going to realize the necessity of the discipline. Now, I'm not talking about a parent just, you know, doing all kind of crazy stuff. The Bible says, fathers, do not provoke your children to anger. That's right. I'm not talking about that type of stuff. You know, or, or, or mamas who raise in their children, you're just like your no good daddy. <laughs> right? No, we got to see the good in our children. Yeah. Absolutely. See, because whatever title you put on them, they're going to wear for the rest of their life. That's right. Say that. Say that. That's right. That's right. When you teach them that they're different, mm -hmm. when you teach them that they have value, yes. when you teach them that they are the children of the Most High God, they're heirs and joint heirs, they're, they're priests. A royal priesthood, their chosen generation, their peculiar people. When you teach them that, yeah. they rise to the occasion. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say, I love Jesus, not I love God. We all love God. Absolutely. But the question is, what God mm -hmm. are you loving? That's right. <laughs> Don't allow anybody to bag you up in a corner, all right? I'm going to give you this, and we're going to get out of here. <laughs> right this is your model, Isaiah 54, 13. <laughs> Watch this. Isaiah 54, 13. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. Yeah. Man, you know how powerful that is? Yeah. All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. You got to teach your children how to preserve their peace by being taught by the Lord. In other words, they got to lend their ears to God. Yeah, thank the Lord. Some of us don't have peace. But your peace is great when you allow the Lord to teach you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Proverbs 1. Uh, I don't know if I want to go there, Lord Jesus. What? Let me give you this. When we lend our children to the Lord, watch this, as Hannah did, we place them in the care of the Lord under the supervision of the Holy Spirit. The moment I give my child back to the Lord, I place them in the care of the Lord under the supervision of the Holy Spirit. When they stray, the Holy Spirit brings about conviction that places our children, watch this, back onto the path of life. That's why our children, watch this, they vacillate. You know, uh, in this season, they want to be saved. <laughs> and next season, they just want to do what they want to do. Right. Let me say this. All of the stuff that's being rapped about and sang about in the culture, all of that stuff is geared toward, watch this, Rebuilding, tearing down the old mind, rebuilding the mind so that the mind can take on the thoughts of the culture. It is to brand the minds of our children. They want our children to totally erase. Just because your mama was saying to your daddy wants to church, that don't mean you gotta do that. You gotta make your own decision. Anybody who can come in your life and get you to turn against the discipline of your parents, they are the devil. Yeah, that's true. Come on, sir. Children, let me tell you this. I don't have a mother here on this earth. I don't have a father here in this earth. I don't have a grandmother. I don't have a grandfather. When your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather transition, I promise you, all of that anger and all of the stuff that you held up against them, all of the revenge, you're going to wish that you had yes. one yes. more that if it was just one more hour. Yes. Yes. 
don't be at war with your parents. Parents, don't be at war with your children. At the end of the day, there must be respect. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And so watch this. When they straight the Holy Spirit brings about conviction to bring them back onto the path of life, it's when they rebel that the Lord refuses to lock horns with them. God ain't going to lock horns with a rebellious child. You hear me? He, he's not going to do it. Watch this. Look at 1 Samuel real fast. And, uh, 15.23. And just write it in your margin. He says, for rebellion is as the spirit of witchcraft and stubbornness. Just listen to the whole. We always talk about rebellion as the spirit of witchcraft, but listen to the whole verse. Rebellion is the spirit of witchcraft and stubbornness. Children, when you stubborn, God said that's like idolatry. I doubt, like, oh my God, like you worshiping stubbornness. Like, don't tell me what to do. So he says, it is as the spirit, the iniquity of, watch this, idolatry. Because you have rejected the Lord, watch this. You rejected the word of the Lord. The Lord has rejected, rejected you as king. We know that this is who? King Saul. All right. And he rejected the word of the Lord. Because the word of the Lord came to him and says, kill all, spare nothing. But what I want you to pull out of that particular scripture is one word. But the operative word is rejected. Hmm. Because he rejected the word of the Lord. Remember I told you last week and we're close. That the children, watch this, that came up in that generation that did not know the Lord, watch this, they gradually moved away from yeah. the word of God. Well, they kept saying, yeah, I know, yeah, I love God, yeah, I believe in God. But they gradually moved away. And so in our generations now, the age group from 18 to 30, we can't even find. Come on. But I know I can find a whole lot of them on Thursday night. <laughs> he ain't far from here at all. And the thing is, watch this. People are making decisions based on how they feel. Yeah. Not based on what they know. So my shout reject it. Yeah. Write this in your margin. Hosea 4 and 6, he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of what? Because they have rejected knowledge. I will reject them from being a priest to me. Watch this. This is parents. Because you have forgotten the law of your God. Watch what God says. I'm going to forget your children. Mm -hmm. Do we not know that's what's really going on in this culture? Mm -hmm. yeah. Half of these children were not even raised by parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Half of our children in the black community, and that's not, 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 not let, me, let me say this. To our defense, we were the strongest race in this earth. Yeah. Even to this day, we got Uncle Willie. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> Susu, you know, they gonna come to the party, they gonna be drunk, they, they gonna be loud or what? But we know what love is. Yes. We can fight. Yes. You know, talk crazy to one another. But black people really know how to love. Yep. But to yeah. our defense, when you look at our community, our race, and you said absence of black fathers, that was planned. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remove the man, destroy the family. Yeah. 
remove the man, destroy the foundation. How you gonna build on something that you don't have? Right. Jesus. And then eventually, once they realize they couldn't persecute us out of existence no more, they start persecuting us out of jobs. Hmm. You're not qualified. And, and, and here's the amazing thing, I gotta go, I want to read. He, here's the amazing thing, watch this. The amazing thing is this, watch this. Y'all ain't gonna like me when I say this, but I don't care. Listen, <laughs> listen, I, 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 listen. <sighs> we built the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Without any school. Yeah. I had an uncle who couldn't read, could barely write. Couldn't nobody outpray that man. Yeah, like that. Nobody could outpray him. Mm -hmm. Nobody could outwork him. If he was alive today, he'll be a millionaire. The best plumber you ever met in your life. Put some measurements before him. He can look at him, not even put a ruler on him. Mm. It's a six by nine. Mm -hmm. It's eight by 12. <laughs> Give me three nine by 16. Right. Knock that off. It's 18 inch plywood. I won't write that. I was trying to go work with a man, show me a $5 dollar check one day. I say, look, you need some mail more. <laughs> man, let me work for the show. I'm ready right now. How you make that? What I'm trying to get you to understand, if I stand, is that our generation has fumbled generations before us, those of us who were born in the 90s, in the 70s, and some in the 80s, we were that last generation that really got it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> we were the last generation that got it. And it's time for us, listen y'all, to reclaim our children to the degree that we understand that the devil is playing for keeps. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. He playing for keeps. Mm. I want to see mm. a church of young people again where you're not just coming to church for some treats or not just coming to church to be fed or not just coming to church just to be with young people, but young people come in the church, watch this, on fire for God, want to know more about God. Yeah, you want to fellowship with your friends and, you know, all the other amenities that come with it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, young people who understand who God is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here, if we don't guard our thoughts, This is what causes us to act out. If we think ill, we're going to do ill. Yes. That's why you can't be around everybody, young people. Right. The Bible says evil communication corrupts good manners. Yes, sir. And I want to tell y'all, just because, you know, you hear people saying, Everybody, you know, everybody else doing him. Well, listen, if everybody said they're going to jump off a bridge, are you going to jump? I don't think you are. Right, right. When I hear that, this is what I hear. Everybody else has lowered and dropped the standard. So I'm just going to go with everybody else. Be different. Be different, yes. yes. Swim against the tide yes. of the culture. Yes. Be different. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Jesus. For the 
Lord, we thank you for this time of gathering. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We ask that you move by your spirit, God, even as we leave this place, God. Yes. If there's some in here, God, who's moved, God, to be a part of this ministry, I pray that you touch them, God, and you bring them. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. You touch them. Father, if there's some, God, who are confused and don't know where you want them to go, God, let them know, God, that we can put them under watch care, God. Watch for their souls until yes, sir. you've placed them, God, in the place they need to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We love you. We love you, Father. Father, as we begin to give today, God, I pray that you would bless every gift and every we give her. Yes. That none yes. will suffer lack for what they give. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We tell you that we love you. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. We're giving. If you don't have a time and offer an envelope, I ask that you raise your hands. We want to get that to you. Thank you. Hallelujah. We're giving. Give the fine. Somebody give her a give the fine. Those of you that are giving online, you know you can find us. Restoration on give the fine. reminded Thursday night there will be no Bible study. Wednesday 6 p.m. we will be with Pastor Hosey Hopkins at New Hope about the church there on Enterprise in Orange Mound 6 p.m. I'll be preaching praise and worship team. Uh, we'll be singing we're going to be celebrating with Pastor Hopkins his birthday birthday celebration. Amen. And uh, we want everybody to come out alright. We need everybody. <clears throat> Wednesday night at 6. No Bible study Thursday evening. Amen. Everybody head up to the Nagel. Father, we thank you for this day once more, God. We ask, oh God, as we go down from this place, never ever from your presence. It is in his name we pray. Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Bless you.